Brutal battle. The campaign for U.S. Senate takes a real nasty turn. The emotionally charged issue of September 11th sweeps the spotlight in the final two weeks of the race. Tommy Thompson accusing Tammy Baldwin of forsaking the victims of 9-11. But Fox 6's Mike Lowe reports in tonight's political lowdown, Baldwin calls that attack false and now she's hitting back. The controversy started churning last week. At 9-11, I was in charge of the public health of America. Tommy Thompson, flanked by Senators Lindsey Graham of South Carolina and John McCain of Arizona, began a news conference on foreign policy with an attack on Tammy Baldwin. My opponent, Tammy Baldwin, was one of only a handful of individuals to vote against a resolution commending the people at 9-11. Baldwin did indeed vote against a 2006 House resolution that recognized the 9-11 victims. But that's not the whole story. The resolution also includes 15 whereas clauses, extra statements that endorse George W. Bush's most controversial policies. Congressional Republicans um, added a bunch of measures to what had previously been a simple resolution honoring the victims of 9-11. Baldwin's campaign spokesman says she was put in a position to vote either for the resolution that praised controversial legislation or vote against the resolution and look like she doesn't support the 9-11 victims. Desperate people do desperate things. Tuesday, Thompson started airing this ad. It's a slap in the face to every one of their families and anyone who has ever served in the United States military. The Thompson ad is as disgusting as it is dishonest. And now Baldwin is hitting back with an ad of her own. Tommy Thompson's ad is a disgrace, the truth. Time and again, Tammy Baldwin has supported honoring victims. The Thompson campaign says the ad is a legitimate look at Baldwin's record, but Baldwin's campaign sees it as something else. I think it is the tipping point for Tommy Thompson's desperate campaign. And Malon Mitchell, who is the head of the Wisconsin Firefighters Union, condemned the Thompson ad as a disgrace to the memories of the first responders. But today, the head of the Milwaukee Firefighters Union, which is endorsing Tommy Thompson, said that they support Thompson's ad. Back to you. Mike, thank you. It is 515. Remember that fog yesterday? It may be to blame for a fatal crash in Milwaukee.